Hello, I'm John Stossel. This is 2020 in Touch. You've seen them grilled, thrown to the ground, cuffed. We're talking about those alleged sexual predators who think they're about to meet up with an underage girl or boy, but they meet Dateline's Chris Hansen instead. This Friday, Brian Ross turns the cameras and the questions around to investigate some explosive allegations aimed at to catch a predator. You ever watch Dateline NBC? As six other police departments around the country had done before, Murphy, Texas police made a deal with Dateline, not only to allow NBC cameras to record the state, police department, get on the ground. but also to the astonishment of the local district attorney, the Murphy police let people hired by Dateline actually set up and run the sting. The police department, the professionals, uh, weren't in control of the entire operation. They weren't calling the shots. Somebody else was. District Attorney John Roach says his office warned the Murphy police in advance, in writing, it was a bad idea. Where in the law enforcement business, not show business, reads the letter. Please, on the ground, now! But the Murphy police went ahead with NBC Dateline anyway, even ignoring the protest of local residents who didn't want their neighborhood used as a place to lure sexual predators. Why did they have to bring him to our neighborhood? On the ground. By the time it was over, 23 men were arrested in the sting. All but two from outside Murphy, as seen in two dramatic primetime hours that produced big ratings for NBC. And I'm ashamed to have been a part of it. I'm truly ashamed to have been a part of that. As Murphy police detectives, Sam Love and Walt Weiss played a big role in the operation. There was nothing wrong with having a sting operation in Murphy. There's nothing wrong with putting a child sexual predator behind bars but you can't do it sloppily. Months after millions of viewers watched the arrest of 23 suspects in Murphy, the district attorney dismissed all criminal charges against them, saying there were problems with the jurisdiction and that the evidence was hopelessly lacking or compromised. If you want to entertain, that's okay, but you got to get the police work done first. So they really dropped the ball here? Yes, they did. By going into business, essentially, with the NBC and perverted justice. That's exactly right. It, by giving up their role as professional law enforcement officers for a, a few minutes of TV time. We appreciate your comments, so please keep them coming by email or record them on your cell phone or webcam and send them to us here at abcnews.com. We'll feature some of you on our daily webcast. And I'm John Stossel. For all of us at 2020, we're in touch, so you be in touch.